Hi, and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker, and today we're going to be looking at the iJoy Capo Squonk, the iJoy Capo 216, which is a, uh, a little kind of squonk, very similar um, sort of look to it as the G Box from Geek Vape, and, uh, and I'll throw up a comparison on that in a little while. But uh, it, I'm not sold on it, to be fair. I mean, the mod, not too bad. I'm kind of, I'm in a little bit of a predicament with this one because they sent me, uh, the kit came with this RDA with it, but it also came with the tank and the tank was crap. And the uh, the RDA isn't a whole lot better, to be honest with you. But as far as the uh, mod goes, that's what we're going to try and concentrate on today. So let's go down for the up close portion for the uh, iJoy Capo 216. Come on then. All right, so here we go. This is the box for the iJoy Capo 216. And, uh, you know, it's it's all right. It's got some information floating around on it. Um, do, you, do you ever read any of this sort of stuff? I'm not going to go, go into this too much at the moment. Um, but uh, let's just crack this open and see what the unboxing experience is like. Plain white box going on right there. And then, boom, wallop, bosh. There you go. There is the uh, the 216 and the, uh, the, 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 the RDA that comes along with it so let's get these out of here for the moment and we can see what else comes with this in the box opening that up just push that rda out move that to one side and then you can see that in here what we've got is a uh, usb cable and we have some spares which i'll talk to you about in a second and we have this bottle which i'm absolutely going to talk to you about in a second because this is the first thing that really really annoyed me with this uh, with this product anyway under this we do have a, uh, a warranty card going on and then after that we do have the manuel as well so you can uh, have a read up about how you're supposed to use it if you so wish right let's get a little bit closer okay so these are the spares that come along with it a bunch of o-rings two of the smallest bits of cotton you've ever seen in your life and uh, this little tool when it comes to uh, changing out decks which i can show you in a second but that's about it when it comes to the spares now they're moving away from the spares and let's just talk about this bottle for a minute shall we now one of the things that i guess is kind of cool is that they do give you this bung this is in the black bottle that i've got installed in here at the moment um but this bung obviously means that you can dump it in the top of your juice bottles so you're less likely to uh, to uh, have it leak out if you're carrying a spare juice bottle with you however that's perfectly fine and dandy you've got the uh, you've got a hard sort of plastic outer on here and then a softer silicone going in the middle and uh, you know you go right fair enough then and I found that when I was uh, when I was uh, vaping it that that happened that was that that impressed me greatly so it started with when i was uh, when i was squonking it i was leaking loads of ju juice out of the bottom and i couldn't work out what it was for ages because um i was expecting juice to be sort of pouring down the top here somewhere but no it was the actual bottom and that's because in their wisdom they've made sure that this bottle is a two piece and that is the stupidest thing and most annoying thing i've ever seen because this it it it, it, it breaks I mean, I, I haven't kind of pulled it, pulled this bottom section out. This just fell out of its own accord. And it's it, uh, unbelievably frustrating, especially when I dumped a load of juice and it uh, it really frustrated me. I went back to iJoy about this and they went, oh, yeah, well, we'll take your comments on board um, for the next time. But uh, that is stupid. So if you do use this bottle, I believe it was the same in the original Capo Squonker. Um, but uh, I didn't have one, so I couldn't really tell you. But uh, no if you've got this i think it's like a nine mil bottle i think it is um but uh, if you've got one of these please 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 be careful because this bottom probably will come off for you at some point in time and annoy your day like it did mine anyway moving on to the mod itself fairly straightforward in fact let me just get you a comparison and so there we go comparing it to its nearest comparison and that is the G box and you can see that uh, stylistically they are indeed very very similar you can see that the iJoy 216 is a little bit shorter than the capo uh, than the uh, than the G box um, and when we look on the top you can see that size wise there is a little bit less kind of coming out this way because we haven't got that curve going on as we have on here because obviously the the board is on the different a different kind of side but what we've got going on here or rather the fire button uh what we've got going on here i mean that that's the comparison that everybody's going to get and it's 
<laughs> they do look very, very similar. Anyway, let's take this out and concentrate on this one, shall we? So this is the iJoy216 Capo Squonky. You can see you've got a dirty great big fire button going on right here. You've got a squonk bottle going on here. We've got a 510 with this kind of situation going on i don't really know what this is all about to be honest with you i guess it, it was a sort of a stylistic kind of affair going on um but uh no there we go you've got the uh, you've got what looks like appears to be a stainless steel 510 going on the top there and uh that's just got a little bit of juice in there making it look like it's a bit brass but that is stainless steel going on now then when it comes to the underside uh what you can see here is unlike the g box we do have these two sections separated so um pressing that in will mean that you can get your batteries out now i'm running 18650s in mine um at the moment so i'm using this big honk and great big condom thing going on um but uh, yeah this door isn't spring loaded or anything like that uh it just it just does get pushed up a little bit by this pin going on right there but uh, but no otherwise apart from that and trying to figure out which way up your batteries go that way there we go go on in you go Wallet. That's it. You do have a uh, you do have a plus and minus going on here as well. Uh, so you can you can see which way it's going on. But obviously, when you've got it in the condom, that's not going to tell you very much at all. So just please be aware of that. Now, then, when it comes to the catch, um, when you do press that, that does click into place. But on more than one occasion, I have knocked this, and then that's just meant that that door has flown open. So uh, once again, just something to be careful with, especially if this is in your pocket or something along those lines. Now, then, when it comes to taking the squonk bottle out essentially you've got a magnetic door going on right there so you can see the, the uh, magnets on the sides of that and on the sides there and there um, that magnet looks like it's kind of gone in quite a lot going on there i don't know if you can tell that and there is some juice there still from when uh, from when the previous bottle leaked out i thought i'd cleaned all of that out anyway um all you do then is you pull that down have juice leak everywhere and, uh, and boom, wallop, there you go. Let me just clean that up. And when it comes to sucking in the juice, you can see right at the bottom here of the sort of the, the stem that comes down through the bottom there um, that goes to the bottom of your juice bottle. Those holes that are actually in there are tiny. They are really, really tiny holes. And I think this is one of the contributors for it to be quite hard squonking, to get thick VG going up into that tube. I don't think those tiny little holes help at all there. But then underneath there, you can see that we have got a seal going on and that's obviously what will uh, seal the top of your bottle but uh, just to get your bottle in there it couldn't be any easier just push it up and away you go but like i said it's uh for thick vg i've struggled but i'm sure i'll talk about that later on you do have a little sort of tab going on on the front of this little cover there which goes in first and then the magnets hold it in place and so there you can see that we do have the screen on that side and we do have the fire button on this side. So rather than being on the same side as it is with something like the G-Box, then uh, you have got sort of th th this, which really does make it a finger firer, in my opinion. Anyway, looking at this board. Now, um, first of all, when you press the fire button, you can see that it's really dark. It's really, really dull. The smoked glass, whatever they're using on the front of here, the smoked perspex, is really, really dark. And so this can be very dark difficult to see in uh, in kind of uh, a, a sort of a bright environment um, but uh, if we give this a, uh, a five clicks that turns it off five clicks off and five clicks to turn it back on again boom wallop Three clicks takes us into this menu system here where we've got, uh, we can scroll through and hopefully you can see the little arrow that's going underneath there. So under the moment it's under the P, then it's under the T and then it's under the reset puff. So uh, if I go to the P section there and then click on the fire button, we get the options of normal, hard or soft. So you can choose how you want that or how, how hard you want that to fire in that sort of initial, um, initial kind of moment of fire. Firing up. Uh, then if we go back into that menu, we can then go to the T, choose on that one, and then at that point we can choose um, NI, TI, stainless steel, or go for a full TCR mode as well, if you so wish. So uh, that's the uh, that's that's it. That's the options. There's no. I've certainly not found anywhere that gives us the option of um, of uh, kind of increasing or decreasing brightness. Uh, but no, what you've got in that top corner right up there, you can see that we've got the NI. Hopefully that's in focus, and you can see that. 
uh, but obviously we do have the wattage we do have an ohm reading that's just underneath there obviously we've got the temperature going on here we've got a puff counter the voltage and the batteries as well so I'm going to go back into the uh, the power mode and go straight into that one and then once again with similar sort of reading but this time we've got norm Old people will remember the TV show. Cheers. Norm. That's what I think of every time I see it. Anyway, moving on quickly. Uh, obviously, it's fairly straightforward. It's nothing uh, It's nothing to get too excited about when it comes to menu or functionality. And I've got to give it props for that, which is good. Now, the, the fire button is very, very clicky. And the up and down buttons are as well, moving up in uh, 0.5 watt increments. And if I keep my finger on the uh, on the going up, you can see that it doesn't kind of go into a crazy accelerometer sort of stage to really kind of push through until it gets over that 100 watts. And then it goes straight to that 216, which, you know... <laughs> <laughs> may or may not happen. Anyway, that's about it when it comes to the mod. It's super simple and, um, yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, let's go up top and, uh, in fact, no, before we do, we've got to look at this. So this is the RDA that you get with it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's quite a dinky, cute little RDA, to be fair. It is quite sweet. Um, it does say Combo SRDA at the bottom there. And that's that's just not going to focus to enable you to see that. But trust me, it does. Um, and uh, when it does sit on top of the, uh, of the mod, it does kind of look quite cute, other than having that big gold band going on there. Um, as far as sitting on top of it, there is a tiny, tiny gap going on um, just from having a very very slightly raised 510 but uh, now you can see what's going on there now then if I take the uh, take the top cap off you can see that under here we do have a nice little curved section on the airflow control ring and if I pop that out all together you can see that uh, this is a metallic substance on the bottom there. I thought it was going to be Delrin from the feel of it at the top, but it feels to me like it's all a metal top cap going on there. Uh, but it's, uh, it, it is an 810, so you can pop your 810 drip tips in there if you so wish. Now then, when it comes to the barrel, fairly straightforward, nothing impressive to see there. And then we get the deck. And uh, yeah, let's go a little bit closer. And there we have it. Now, these are the coils that were installed, and I've not used them. And the reason for that is I've got no idea what material they are. They also don't look as though they've been pre-fired, and uh, therefore they could have hotspots and all that sort of malarkey going on as well. So that doesn't impress me much. And I've got to say, I mean, I kind of I like the principle of being able to have um, kind of pre-wicked, pre-coiled decks that are interchangeable. But what I don't like is not having any clue what these are without knowing that. I mean, I get sort of some headaches occasionally with uh, when I use N80. Um, and so I, I'm not, you know, what is it? Just tell us what they bloody well are. It's not hard. And by taking the uh, that RDA base off the mod there, you can see that on the side of this section here, it does say srda.ce, don't know what CE stands for, and 0.13, which is very, very low. And I'm not super impressed with that, particularly for people that will go, oh, I know, I'll stick my, uh, I'll stick this onto my single battery mic mod that I picked up cheap and, uh, and I'll put some crappy batteries in that. I'm not impressed with that at all. And also because it's a, uh, because it's a regulator, device why does it need to be so low why do they need to build this so damn low it really really annoys me anyway you can uh, unscrew that section out of there as you can see you've got this bung going on here which is going to help reduce leaking and uh, there we go that is that section of the rda now, remember that little tool that we had a little while ago when we did the unboxing? You can pop that in these two holes on the underside of this here deck, um, which this material looks weird to me. Do you? Can you kind of see where I'm going with that? I don't, it just, what's that all about? That doesn't look like machine marks. That looks like this has been plated um, to me uh, badly. But anyway, moving on. Um, pop that in there and then I can just unscrew that deck and there you have the coils and wick that these guys are using on the inside of that. This is the barrel that the deck goes into. And if I pull this wick out, I mean, this is this is really, really tight. Um, 
I wouldn't I wouldn't put my wick in that tight to be honest with you um, but there you go that's it that is the uh, that is the deck it looks as though on the underside of this section which you pull out of the, the section that you've kind of unscrewed that this is like a bit of little bit of circuit board or something like that it just and and it looks as though you've then soldered your your, your coil legs into I just I don't get it I don't get it. I don't understand why that's a thing that that just that doesn't look right to me all with no I'm not I don't know don't like it this is one of the bits of cotton that I actually pulled out of the uh, one of the coils that were already in the deck this is the other one obviously you can see that one of them is white the other one is pre-burned so uh, you know that's nice now they did send me these two decks as well that you can use now, obviously we're we're fairly similar we're fairly similar when it comes to deck design they're both two posters there's just ones at a funky angle and one's a little bit wider so I guess you could use this one a little bit more if you are more concerned with having uh, having kind of big chunky wire maybe but uh, but there you go that's a thing it's uh, it's 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 definitely a thing but uh, let's get this inside one of these here decks or in one of these here bottoms and here we go with uh, screwing this in now obviously we've got this kind of bung that we saw on the uh, on the, the other deck before we took that out and uh, you're going to want to screw this into here now um, one of the things that confuses me somewhat on here as well is if I screw that all the way up like so then I don't really seem to have an awful lot of insulation but this it just seems like a shit show to me I do not like this RDA I don't like this system here I don't like what we've got going on underneath this I think that's horrible I think the fact that they're using coils made of something is ridiculous I imagine it's N80 due to that resistance but uh, no all in all I just I'm not a fan of any of this whatsoever so let's go up top so that was the up close with this little puppy. Now I have kind of put the, uh, the 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 pin in the best way that it seems logical to me. It, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's overly well insulated, which I think is terrible. And for the for all of the time I've been testing this, I've not been using the um, this RDA at all because I'm just not a fan of it. I don't like those pre-built coils. They, I mean, they're coming through. I think to to buy them. In fact, let's have a little look at the prices of the whole kit. Um, I did a quick Google an e-cig one in the uk has got this on pre-order uh with batteries for 57.99 um and they are 2700 batteries obviously as this is a 2700 slash 18650 uh mod now the the uh the when it comes to the the extra coils and wicking and all that sort of malarkey um, basically you can buy three coil heads for 10.99 which seems just truly really ridiculous now obviously you can uh, re-wick these coil heads but uh, but you can't recoil them so you're kind of stuck with what you've got there and I think the the, the fact that the other two, the two that are available one is the 0.13 or 0.14 that we've got in this and the other one is a 0.1 for fuck's sake I think that is that's shocking that's horribly irresponsible I believe um, for something like this because somebody may um, may decide that they don't like the RDA and then they'll give it away or they'll sell it to a mate or something like that and this mate will get one and they'll stick it on a single battery squonker and it not cool not cool and I, I think it's I think it's a terrible terrible idea so the fact that, that, that you have to buy the extra decks for it in a kit form I think is 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 irresponsible and stupid and I just do not like it at all so uh, yeah that's that anyway when it comes to the kit though um, did I just mention the price did I mention the price yeah 57.99 from eSig1 that gives you the mod and the uh, the RDA. So anyway, the oh the other the RDTA you've not seen that at all in this uh, in this uh, review mainly because uh, I thought I would just try it and see what it was like. Uh, however, as soon the first time I tried to tighten up the 510 pin after taking it all apart, it broke. It just sheared off and uh, and I didn't even manage to get as far as getting juice in there. So that was you know rubbish um anyway so that all happened now then when it comes to the mod itself first of all this is it in temp mode 75 watts i did i put a couple of my own coils just straightforward um just straightforward nothing special 22 gauge wrapped around going on in there um and what we're looking at with the resistance on there on here is coming through at 0 0.16 i've got this at 75 watts at 477 fahrenheit and this is in stainless steel obviously so let's have a go
weak as you'll just weak. Weak, 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 weak. So uh, I'm going to take this out of the uh, the temperature mode and I'm going to put this just in power mode, in normal. And once again, 75 watts, not going to change that. so much better sorry about the chair squeaking and cranking away but um yeah so the temp mode in this i think is is very very weak indeed and um, if you're a temp control vapor then this isn't going to be a good one for you now when it comes to the power mode sure the power mode seems to work fine so you know and it's a nice simple board which i do like so that's that's two kind of positives going on there whether it hits the full 216 watts with 2700 batteries in there that's something for someone cleverer than I to test out but uh, um, you know it's 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 a thing um, now I do like the fact that the battery compartment is separate to the squonk compartment however I don't like that it's so easy to knock the little switch there and have your uh, have your batteries fall out that annoys me greatly um, stylistically it's obviously very similar to the g-box but we're seeing a lot of other shapes or a lot of other kind of shapes along the same line they're basically taking the old rouleau shape and then uh, just taking a battery out and sticking a squonk bottle in there really um now this is for me it's a finger firer all the way this isn't a thumb firing device really for me it just for me it's uncomfortable as a thumb firer but uh, obviously that's a personal preference thing um is there anything else? Oh, that horrific squonk bottle that they included in it. That was that was so annoying. It made me so, so angry. I'm not going to lie. It just really wound me up. Um, so with the RDA, with the uh, with the bad squonk bottle, with the RDTA that we shit, um, with, the, uh, with the constantly popping out batteries, if you kind of knock this by taking out of your pocket or whatever, that annoys me. The temp control's weak. Um, but in just straightforward power mode, it's... It, it works as a cheap and cheerful dual battery squonker. Now, you do get a second bottle in there, which is the black one that I'm using now. And this is a solid plastic bottle. Not solid, but, you know, a harder plastic bottle, like we've seen in the previous mods from Geek Vape and Kanga and people like that. Um, and uh, allegedly it holds 10 mil of juice. So, you know, you've got 10 mil potentially to uh, to keep you going through the day. Um I'm, I'm not a fan of this, to be honest with you, but that's just to my own personal taste. It feels comfortable enough in the hand. Um, I've got no no sort of issues with that because it's finger firing and the squonking's in the same sort of place. Then, uh, you know, that's fine and dandy. But uh, but no, I mean, I think I think in all honesty, I could be somewhat overshadowed by the, uh, the, 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 the hatred I have of the RDTA and the RDA that comes with the, the kit. Um, but, you know, if, if we take... I'm really trying hard to take them out the equation but if we do take them out of the equation then we've got the battery door and the bad squawk bottle and the dodgy temp control other than that <laughs> it, it works so there you go for me it's uh it's a it's not a win it's a bin rather than a win um and uh, i'm not a fan of it there you go. Can't really tell you a great deal else about it. Well, the props to them, though, for making it nice and short, nice and short, and still being able to have 2,700 batteries in them. So that's, you know, well done. Well done, those guys, for that. After seeing the styling of the iJoy 216, a single battery one, I was really hoping that the styling was going to kind of follow through into the dual battery and be something different and interesting. And uh, and no, sadly, it, it just isn't. So there you go. That's about all I can say. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. This has been the iJoy 216, called Capo 216. And uh, if you've got one, please do let me know your comments down below. If you've had a similar issue with that Squam bottle, with the original one, with the single battery one, then let me know down below. And uh, as always, I'm always interested to hear in your thoughts. And uh, I will see you very soon. Have it larger.